What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back yet again for another movie review, and today we are going to be talking about Lights Out. Uh, you guys can watch this on Hulu right now, and it's starring, of course, Frank Gurlio. We got Erica Peoples in here. We got uh, Mackay Pfeiffer. We got, of course, Scott Atkins in this film. This was your normal, I would say, unfortunately, straight to either you know streaming or um, how, how how do I say it? straight straight to streaming straight to dvd type of movie where frank grillio plays as of course duff who is a uh, former soldier coming back from uh the war and he's having a hard time he's making his way through la and then of course he meets a character by the name of max who is a, someone who got out of jail as well who he's trying to find fighters so he can pay off some debt as well as also be able to make some money and when him and Duffy meet up they're able to come become this power duo and make some money take out some fighters and pay off some debt but unfortunately the one that he owes money to is in bed with some dirty cops as well as also the cartel and among others and things take a turn for the worse when some money goes up missing of Max's sister's boyfriend that was involved in this and then it's up to Max and Duff to be able to sell the score to be able to save this family and be able to take care of the debt now there is a lot of drama in this there is a lot of action in this um i will definitely say if you like for example scott atkins who does a tremendous amount of these kind of movies from martial arts to action drama adventure things like that then more than likely you're going to enjoy this film there is a lot of drama like i said there's a lot of martial arts in here um a lot this movie pretty much almost felt like another of uh, Blood and Bone, if you guys have ever seen that with Michael J. White, it's a little bit of an older movie. Still a very good movie, but again, movies like this, I, I have a very love for. I love a straightforward movie, I love a movie that has action, I love a movie that has straight to the point, no BS, you know, it's easy to figure out, um, and it's easy to get a hold of and interested in, and just a good story, good characters, character development, being able to uh, figure things out at a quick pace and being able to have a good ending or a bad ending or a complicated ending and, and sometimes that does happen in these films and I did enjoy myself again Frank Grillo I've seen him in a few movies obviously you know Captain America is one of the things that he's very well known for for playing Crossbones I think he did well with this role being I would say a somewhat low budget movie obviously there's a lot of actors in here that I do recognize uh, Frank Grillo being one of them Scott Atkins being one of them very big martial arts very big actor for um playing in a bunch of different movies jamie king was even in here as well uh it's been a long time since i've seen her in a movie uh amario uh i can't say this man's last name from prison break among many other movies and of course makai uh, pfeiffer saw him of course you know dawn of the dead eight mile among many other movies so again we there is a lot of talent in this movie there's a tremendous amount of talent in this movie on in this film to where if you've seen, I would say, any movie within the early 2000s or even in the late 90s, I'm pretty sure you've seen one of these actors in the in this movie, in another movie, at some given point. Uh, it's a very new movie, came out this year. Uh, I would say it's about an hour long, hour and a half hour long. Not very long. Um, it's not, I really don't have nothing bad to say about this film. I really don't. Because it's a very straightforward movie and... You have some shooting scenes, you have some martial arts scenes to where it's going to keep you invested for some fights. So again, if you're a martial artist or you like martial arts or you like action that has to deal with that kind of thing, then again, it's going to keep you invested. Uh, other than that, it's your typical, you know, action adventure, you know, good guy versus bad guy or, you know, rough house versus, you know, this type of bad character feeling. So those are the kind of movies that i grew up watching a lot of the you know the van damme movies the steven seagal movies etc 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 so i really gravitate toward those movies when i was younger i gravitate to those movies now because that's what i grew up on man i don't really get tired of them sometimes it's a good movie sometimes it's a bad movie it just all depends on your opinion and perspective but overall this was a very decent movie i think that um i wouldn't mind seeing another one at some point with the character uh, Frank Grillo played as Duff. I think he was a cool character. It obviously showed that he went through a lot of PTSD, which is what a lot of soldiers go through. Um, 
and he was he didn't really say what happened other than him, him losing a friend over there and among others and things that he was trying to do and also trying to gain money for his mother that had passed away and he was trying to buy her a headstone and move her headstone somewhere to where he thought that she was going to be peaceful and max trying to restart his life from being a convict and trying to pay off debt and take care of his sister and his niece that were going through a very hard time with the one that she was dating and especially Duff being around really helped a lot as well, especially that him being a good influence on them and becoming a very good friend of Max as well. So I think this movie had a very good, uh, solid message in there as well, and you can take it for whatever you will. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. If you guys have seen the movie, you've not seen the movie, but again, I do recommend it. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you as always on the next one.